Last week in Kids Club, we saw Paul asked to go to Rome and stand trial before Caesar. So we begin in Acts 27 with Paul getting on a ship that would take him towards Rome. He was still a prisoner and so a Roman centurion named Julius was in charge of Paul and some other prisoners on the ship. It was going to be a really long journey from Caesarea to Rome. But Paul could already see that God was kind to him and in control. Even though Paul was his prisoner, Julius was nice to Paul and let Paul's friends help him when they stopped at a place called Sidon. Things didn't go well on the next part of the trip though. The wind wasn't blowing in the right direction, so they were sailing very slowly and it was a bad time of year to sail to Rome. Paul tried to warn Julius about this, but Julius didn't listen, so they kept going. Then a huge storm arrived. For days they couldn't see the sky at all. The sailors tried everything, but in the end they gave up all hope of being saved. They must have been so scared, they thought they were all going to die. But one night, God sent an angel to Paul. The angel said, Paul, don't be afraid. You will stand trial before the emperor. And because of you, God will save the lives of everyone on the ship. Paul told everybody what the angel had said and encouraged them to trust God. Even in that terrible storm, we see God is kind and in control. He promised Paul that he would rescue everyone on the ship and God's plan for Paul to go to Rome would happen. After 14 days of being tossed around by the storm, they finally saw an island. Their ship got stuck on a sandbank as they got closer and started being smashed apart by the waves. So everyone swam or floated on some planks of wood to shore and got safely to the island. God rescued everybody on the ship, just like he said he would. The island was called Malta, and the people there welcomed Paul and the others by making a fire to warm them after being shipwrecked. But as Paul put some wood on the fire, a snake jumped out of the wood and bit him on the hand. The people expected Paul to get sick or suddenly die, but he didn't. Once again, we see God's kindness to Paul and that God was in control there too. Paul was also able to heal many sick people on the island while they were there. Three months later, Paul and the rest of the ship's people got on board a new ship and sailed to Rome. What a journey! But remember, things weren't over for Paul yet. He was still a prisoner. But in Rome, he was allowed to live in a house by himself with a soldier to guard him. And he had met some other Christians on the way to Rome who supported and encouraged Paul. Paul called together some of the Jewish leaders from Rome and told them how the Jews in Jerusalem had arrested him and handed him over to the Romans. Even though he hadn't done anything wrong. The Jewish leaders hadn't heard anything about Paul from the leaders in Jerusalem, but they had heard about people following Jesus. So they asked Paul what he had to say. Paul told them all about Jesus and showed them from the Old Testament that Jesus was the promised king they'd been waiting for. Some of the leaders believed Paul, but others didn't. So Paul told them that this good news will be for people who aren't Jews and God would save them too. For the next two years, Paul stayed in that house and taught anyone he could about Jesus. God was kind to Paul and completely in control. Through Paul's trial, the storm and shipwreck, snake bite and in Rome, God's plan was for the good news about Jesus to spread everywhere in the world. And so that's exactly what happened.